guys, we're going to look at building vocabulary skills during a reading lesson. Let's go. Okay, so we are doing the story. What was the Great Depression by Janet B. Pascal. Okay, great. Now, we're going to be looking at chapter 10. And can you find chapter 10? It is page 95. And you're going to read the title of chapter 10. War. Great, so we're going to be looking at war. But before we go into reading, we're going to look at some vocabulary words, okay? Yes. All right, let's look at the list of vocabulary words. Now, I'm going to say the word first. I know you might know some of these words and you're going to say after me, okay? Depression. Depression. Now, I'm going to use an action. Depression. Depression. Great. The next word, economy. Economy. We're going to use an economy. Economy. Great. Invade. 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 Declare. 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 Unemployment. 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 Great. All right, now we're going to look at the definition or the meanings of each word. We're going to also look at the part of speech and we're going to look at them in sentences and you will also see a picture related to each word. All right, the first word is? Depression. And the part of speech is a? Noun. Now let us look at the definition. A period in which there is very little business activity and not many jobs. And here is a picture. Look at his face. He looks sad. Sad and depressed. And they want they want a job. All right, let's move to the next one. And we're going to read a sentence first. Roosevelt's plan to end the depression had always been to create as many jobs as possible. All right, let's move to the next word. Economy. Part of speech. Now. Let's read the definition. All the money, goods, businesses, and workers that make a country run. And here is a picture with some money. What's the word again? Economy. Great. Let's read it in a sentence. During the Great Depression, the economy broke down almost completely. All right, let's move to the next word. What is this one? Invade. Can you use do the action? Invade. And the part of speech is a? Verb. To enter a country by force with large numbers of soldiers to take control of it. And here we have a picture, and who are these in the picture? Soldiers. And what are they doing? Entering in, a country. In, they're invading. Very good, entering a country. And here, what's this word? Declare. And the part of speech? Verb. And declare means? To announce something formally. Publicly. Publicly or officially. officially. And here, here's the president announcing something. Let's see to the sentence now. On December 7, 1941, the Jap Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor in Hawaii and the United States was forced to declare war. Alright, the next word is unemployment. And the part of speech? Noun. It means the situation of not having a job that provides money. And here they are. Free. They are unemployed. So they're getting free 
coffee and, and donuts. Let's use it in a sentence. Let's read it in a sentence. Now with the coming of the war, unemployment disappeared. Great job. All right. Now let's turn. Let's we're gonna let's read. Let's go to we're gonna read pages ninety five to ninety eight. So go to page ninety five, and you're gonna be seeing some of those vocabulary words. Okay, read the chapter and the title. Chapter ten, war. Roosevelt was elected to his third term. He had become president by promising to end the de depression. Things were getting better. But the depression still wasn't over. However, world events soon kept him from being able to focus only on America's economy. World War II had begun in Europe in 1939. The Nazis in Germ Germany and their supporters in Italy and Japan were invading other countries. They seemed to be threatening the entire world. Many Americans hoped to stay out of the war. Roosevelt promised them that he would do everything possible to prevent Americans from having to fight. But he probably re realized that America would eventually be drawn into battle. On December 7, 1941, the Jap Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor in Hawaii and the United States were forced to this word was forced to declare war. Roosevelt's plan to end the depression had always mm -hmm. Continue. always been to create as many jobs as possible. But he had never been able to offer enough jobs for everyone. Now with the coming of war, unemployment disappeared. More and more men joined the army. Other people were needed to fill their jobs. And a huge number of workers were needed to build ships, airplanes, and weapons to fight the war. Suddenly, there were too few workers, not too many. The Brooklyn Navy Yard built and repaired battleships. It employed more than 75,000 people working on about 1,500 ships a year. Great job. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please remember, you can look in the description and you will find many more videos to help you with reading. You will also find videos to help you with grammar. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.